classroom, dining room, bathroom, boardroom, digital sales room, escape room, wait, digital sales room. Today, we're exploring why the use of digital sales rooms have grown by 325%. And of course, should you be using one? Well, with the help of a legendary sales titan and a top performing account executive, we'll find out. And keep watching, because at the end of the video, we're going to give you access to a digital sales room of your very own. What is a digital sales room? It is bringing a seller and a buyer together to share an experience, to pass very complex information so that we can both make informed decisions. That's Jamie Shanks, serial entrepreneur and social selling pioneer with his company, Sales for Life. Jamie now owns Pipeline Signals, an agency which provides enablement as a service for account-based sellers. The challenge is as a sales professional or as a founder, I am completely blind when I send an email, whether that's after a discovery call or if I'm sending a proposal on a contract, I didn't know what people were looking at, when they were looking at it, who they forwarded it to. My message was complex. My message had written word, PowerPoint presentations. It had videos, contract. Do I go after account A versus B? Do I do that today versus tomorrow? I do not know how to best prioritize my time. That's the essence of a tool like this. What you're gaining is intelligence. You're gaining the fact that somebody's interested. What are they interested in? Who are the interested parties? What are the next steps? Digital Sales Room is just a repository that is bringing the two parties together to help them move along a journey in a more cohesive way. All right, so an asynchronous place online where reps and customers can come together to share information. But is this something that can actually help you to sell more? Raver, a veteran AE, breaks it down. The thing is that when you're an account manager, you have to renew business and you have to grow the business. You don't wanna be doing anything inefficiently because all that time you spend could be used on working new deals. Using sales rooms has really changed the way I communicate with my buyers and has introduced a lot of efficiency into my job and has made it easier on my buyers as well. Um, I find them really helpful as a place to put content. So call recordings, um, documents, um, revised information as you're getting deeper into the deal cycle. There's more and more people getting involved in deals and people are leaving the company halfway through a deal. And it's really helpful to just have this centralized place where people can come, they can get caught up on what's happened and they can access everything they need to access. So I have found it's been a much more efficient way to work renewals and it's easier for my buyer as well because they can access everything they need and if someone else needs to get involved like a legal counterpart or procurement they can just invite them into the room and everything is already there being able to share very complex things together uh, to help along the journey th that's not a trend it is a go-to-market strategy to which companies need to take seriously you have the ways that marketing supply intelligence to sellers, but once that initial insight is in the hands of the seller, that seller had no real sense as to the buying intent of that particular customer. As the world becomes more accustomed to landing page experiences, then um, digital sales rooms only make sense. So that's your five minute quick overview of digital sales rooms. Now, if you're thinking, well, this all sounds interesting, but my company doesn't use digital sales rooms, or maybe it's too complicated or expensive to get started. Then, as I said at the start of the video, we've got a present for you. Vidyard, our sponsor, wants you to start experiencing the power of sales rooms right away for yourself with a brand new Vidyard room. You can get access to your very own Vidyard room by clicking the link in the description below. And of course, while you're there, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like, it really helps a lot, and consider subscribing. 